Hey friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to share with you how reading has changed me and my life. It is a video topic that one of you suggested and at first when I saw it, I didn't really know what to say. I felt like reading hadn't changed me that much, but when I sat down to really think about it, I did realize that reading has changed me in a lot of ways. So I thought I'd sit down and share with you the beauty of reading. In the spirit of slow living, which I'm constantly trying to pursue or to go towards, it's all about appreciating the process, the simple things, the sometimes maybe even mundane things to see the beauty and the simplicity in those things. And reading really fits into that philosophy, into that category. It is something that is more of a slow medium. You really have to sit down, take your time to read the book. There is no noise when you're reading. It's just you and the book. And you really have to be present with the book. And it's also something that I realized I'm, I've learned to be better at with reading is to be present because when I'm reading and I'm thinking about other things, I'm not present with the book and I will have read the page and not really known what I just read and then I have to reread the page. So it really trains your mind to be more present, to be with the book and not thinking about a thousand other things. And this also kind of ties into the second point that reading is a very low stimulating activity or in her form of entertainment. Things like social media, movies, TV series, television in general is so much more overstimulating. There's so much more information at a faster pace and you're not just getting sound but also visuals. And I find that we tend to be very overwhelmed with all this information and the speed of it. But because we're so used to it, we kind of need more to stay entertained in a sense. And a book is sort of more of a step back. Um, it is so much simpler. Books are very quiet and simple and it's in that simplicity that they have their beauty. I used to think that books are really boring, that they're just, it's just a bunch of paper and words and I have to really take an effort to read the words. I thought that was a lot of work. But when you've kind of detoxed a little bit from all that overstimulation, you find that a book is actually very entertaining and there's just so much wisdom. You can laugh, you can cry, you can have huge mindset and paradigm shifts through reading books and they're so, I guess, small and compact and this is the wisdom of a person in this. I'm very thankful for books and I feel like books are very underrated. People should be more excited about books. This also again ties into the previous two points, so all these points kind of connect to each other and that is that through reading I've come to enjoy the simplicity of reading and the simplicity of certain tasks like taking a walk or cooking a meal, things that seem mundane. Reading in a sense helped me romanticize my life or it helped me, I guess back to the first point, helped me to pursue more of the slower life and to enjoy the slow process of things. The next point I feel like is a little bit of a no-brainer, but reading helps to expand your horizon. I mean, of course, through reading you take in so much information and so many different viewpoints and you get to visit so many different places and live so many lives. There is this really cool quote that goes something along the lines of a reader lives a thousand lives and it just really means that through reading you get to experience so many different things that you usually wouldn't if you didn't read. And I feel like it's easy to get kind of stuck in your own bubble, in your own community, in your own neighborhood and you see the same things every single day and you start to think that everyone is like you or the whole world is like the things that you see but when you read or when you travel you get to experience new things and meet new people, see new cultures, know about other people's stories and you realize how different everyone is and it also helps you to empathize more with other people. You realize there are other people with other problems and other stories. You get to see other people's opinions, other people's viewpoints and you realize there's not just one 
way of life or there's just not one opinion or one right thing to do there's so many options and you can really pick and choose what you feel like is right for you and it ties into my next point again is that reading helped me to have more of an opinion i used to either just go along with what other people said or when there was a conversation or discussion and it would be, I guess, my turn to say something about the topic, I would often just stay quiet because I felt like I didn't know enough about the topic and I didn't want to just say anything. And I did. I guess I didn't even know what to say because I didn't know anything. But reading really helps you to, first of all, know more, but then helps you to pick and choose and question things and feel out what is true to you what, what do you feel like is true or is valuable and i feel like now i can so much more participate in discussions and in um, talks with other people and i find myself in my head referencing different things i read in different books and it just makes the conversation so much more fun fun and i find that I am so much more confident in those conversations, in those social settings. I feel like so much more part of the group that is discussing and talking about this a certain topic. And now I feel like I have an opinion, I have a viewpoint and I would like to share and would like to contribute to the conversation. Through reading, I've also been able to connect with other people that also enjoy reading. I feel like the connection and the relationship is deeper with other people also enjoy reading. There is, I guess, conversation-wise more depth. And for example, I used to read the same book at the same time with my friend, which was a lot of fun. And we talk on the phone and talk about what we thought, kind of like our own little book club. Um, I've also joined a physical book club in the community that I live in. And I even had a online book club with some of you guys on Patreon, which was a lot of fun. We used to video chat with each other at the end of the month and talk about the book and discuss ideas. And that's what I also really love is I get to hear how other people soaked up the book. And I feel like everyone picks up things differently from books according to what they find valuable for themselves right now. And so I also think it's really interesting to read the same book multiple times at different stages of your life and you will pick up different messages from the book but also a very simple thing like how johannes and i will sometimes read books to each other and read aloud that is also something that i find very enjoyable and that is very underrated we tend to only read aloud to children but i think reading aloud in general is a beautiful activity i don't know it's it's just it's a really nice bonding activity. And lastly, something that I also noticed is that reading helped me to cultivate my patience more. I'm not a very patient person, but to read, you really need to be patient. You need to sit down, take the time, find a quiet space, find a comfortable spot, and take a book that might be thicker and go through that and go through it page by page, word by word, and it's a slow process, but it teaches you to enjoy the process and to be patient with the process. And if you rush through it, you won't pick up half of even what is said in here. Stories often have a underlying message and an underlying teaching. Not always, but a lot of the times. And sometimes we just read the upper layer of the story but there's so much more underneath to dig out and we really need to pay attention to concentrate and be patient to fully understand all the levels of the story or what the author wants to convey to us i think all these things that you learn through reading aren't things that are hap that happen overnight but it is a very slow and gradual process but i think it's a very rewarding process and I, there are some things that I hope to improve upon through reading more, through continuing to read more. First of all, I like to better my focus through reading. I do find that I get distracted somewhat easily or more easily than I would like to. I'd also love to train my memory and have a better memory. I find that I have a horrible memory. I'll read a book and then if you ask me a month later what it was about, I will have forgotten half of the story.
so I hope that through reading more and maybe even revisiting books that I've already read that I can train my memory and have better memory of the things that I've read. I also really hope to improve my articulation. It is something that I know reading will help immensely with, but I'm really bad at conveying my thoughts into words or into written words. I I don't know what it what it is, but there I feel like there's like this slight blockage, but I do feel like it has helped me a little bit, but I want to improve upon that so much more and I really hope and I know that reading will do that for me. So these were the ways in which books and reading has really changed my life and changed me and I really love to read. I don't read that much, at least compared to my boyfriend. I read about a book a month and it's not really about the amount that you read. I feel like reading can often become this competition thing like I read five books a month, I read two books a month, but I do hope to read a little more and to prioritize reading a little more going forward to make sure that I read at least a little bit every single day. I'm coming very close to that but I like to prioritize reading more since it does have such a positive impact on my life and I think on anyone's life who reads a lot or enjoys reading. Let me know some of the things down below how reading, whether you enjoy reading and how reading has benefited you or changed you in any way. I'd love to hear. As I said, I think reading and books impact people so differently. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on my channel on simple living, but also on recipes, minimalism, so much more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.